What is up, fairies? Welcome to your April reading. So first of all, happy freaking birthday. Hope you have a wonderful one. Hope you're doing great. Today we're doing a little career and love reading and overall message for the month, what you can expect for the month ahead. And keep in mind that this is the general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, to feel totally free to check your other placements, okay? And if it does, however, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, share. Anything you can do to help support and grow this channel is really, really appreciated. And if you're interested in private readings, the link is down below. For weekly messages, you can check my Instagram. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. I think that's all I need to say. So <laughs> let's get started. So I was picking up on snowberries and on three specific cards. Uh, or, I mean, I was picking up on a, a red flower with some of this like stuff in the middle. Um, and for the snowberries, the snowberries are a symbol of spiritual cleanse and spiritual enlightenment and just a lot of like intuition and higher self and I really feel like you're getting to this place where you are comfortable with who you are and you're growing a lot and you not only see that in yourself and your body and your health but you also see in the external things uh, because we do have here victory and conquest, beauty and happiness, determination and creative achievement so all of these three cards talk about success okay Success in love, success in career, it doesn't matter. It's just, I really feel like you're getting into this place where you know exactly what you want from life and you know exactly how to get it because you're so in tune with your intuition. And I really feel like April could be the month where you have all that, okay? But let's take a look here. Um, ooh, okay. At what do we have? So, over here for... Um, this is specifically for a career. We have fine balance and healing. So there's all that snowberry uh, energy. And funny enough, we have light. So there's, I really feel like you're ascending here. I really feel like you're getting more in touch with um, the things that you want to do in your career and where you want to go. And I really feel like you're getting also in touch with the balance in personal life and professional life and really trying to manage all that. And I kind of feel like you could have been in the past in a situation of like burning yourself out and really working a lot. And I feel like you're getting into this place where things really are balanced. And I feel like you're really being able to manage all that. And when it comes to love, we have over here children and getting to know each other. I am kind of feeling that this could be a third party situation where with this children, I do feel like it could be someone from the past and with this getting to know each other, I kind of feel like it could be someone new. Okay, so someone from the past could be um, coming back and you got someone to know here. Maybe you already did. For some of you, I kind of feel like you, you already um, met someone and I kind of feel like you're interested in that person. And with these children, I really feel like there's um, something from the past that honestly, I don't feel... This one for me is like a really high vibration kind of energy because you're ascending. And it's not only in your career. I feel like you're ascending in your whole life. Because you're ascending and you're spiritual cleansing yourself um, and healing a lot, I really feel like you're getting to a high vibration and so you attract to you more people with that vibration, that match that vibration. And this energy here feels really good. This children here feels a little bit immature and a little bit, oh, I see you growing up. Oh, I see you all like spiritual cleanse and everything. Uh, I want more of that too. So I really, ah, yeah, okay. Be careful around that person from the past here. All right. But overall energy, look at that page of swords, getting communication, okay? World, four of swords, yeah. I also feel like with the page of swords, you were holding back a little bit in the past. And I kind of feel like it was in your overall life. I feel like you may have lost a little bit of confidence, a little bit of like, what the hell am I supposed to do in this earth? What the hell am I supposed to do with this life? And I feel like now you're healing that. And two of cups, look at that. Um, I feel like you're seeing things very clearly now and you're going towards new stuff that passion you, that um, light you up. That's really, really cool. 
Oh man, look at this career. This is beautiful. So in the past, with that Five of Cups, it's that thing where I feel like you weren't really in a nice place. Uh, I feel like you weren't in a happy place overall. I feel like you really were in a place where you were just doing things because you had to do and you weren't really finding the passion and the drive to move forward and to actually make things happen. And right now with the King of Swords, I feel like you're starting to see strong air energy with this King of Swords and Star, Aquarius energy mainly. Uh, so you could have a lot of air in your chart, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you don't have to though. Uh, but there's this like very clear vision. And with the King of Swords, I feel like right now it's very like mind where you're really thinking and planning and really trying to figure out everything in a very rational way. With this star over here for April, I kind of feel like you're letting go of control a little bit, finding that balance between having everything really planned and allowing more flow into your career. And that I do feel like it's going to bring healing because the star is also about healing, but also a lot of wish fulfillment. I feel like you're finally going to have that spark that really lights you up and really fills you with immense joy. That's really awesome here for you, Aries. I really love that. So let me get some clarification. We're going to get really messy today. So yeah, um, I'm pushing my Virgo side, <laughs> but let's clarify here this uh, King of Swords. And the crazy thing is that in the overall energy, we have the Page of Swords, current situation, King of Swords. So there's clearly that evolution. This is where you're coming from. Because right behind that Page of Swords was the world. The world is about endings and new beginnings. And the new beginning for you is coming out as the King of Swords. It's coming out so mature and happy really with a purpose okay so we have over here the page of swords again three of wands and moon really diving deep into your feelings and manifesting a lot too ace of pentacles creating new stuff beautiful new stuff for yourself okay and i can't help but notice that uh we have a page of pentacles and the ace of cups was there giving me a peak, giving me a high. So there is that new beginning that is solid, is grounded, but it also comes from the heart. And that is where the moon comes in with that Pisces energy. It's where you actually allow your dreams to come in and you actually allow yourself to dream, to dream big and to believe that they can happen. And that's where the star uh, shows up in April. Kind of feel like that star... And you actually, uh, not necessarily taking action, but seeing some progress could be more towards the 20s of the month, okay? But, I mean, time is flowing, so, yeah. But we have the Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups, look at you. My goodness. So, there's that Two of Pentacles that, oh my god, why do I do my love? Oh my god, what is that in my ear? Uh, a lot of confusion, a lot of... Uh, sadness and a lot of like, I don't like what I do, being replaced with, first of all, a lot of abundance, okay? A lot of confidence too. Like confidence is so big here for you right now because it's, I really feel like you're gaining your life back and more than that, you're taking control over your life and amazing things happen because of it. You're really growing into this king, king of swords, king of cups. You're really leveling up here, Aries. That's so awesome. So, so awesome. So, before we get into love, let me see where are we going in the long run, in the long term. What is the outcome here? Potential outcome for the long term. Moving forward. Seven of Cups, King of Wands, Page of Swords. That Page of Swords is coming up like a bunch of times. And... I kind of feel like that page of swords is going to show up uh, several times in your life uh, and in several different ways. Because I feel like in the past, it was a page of swords full of fears. It was a page of swords full of like, oh, let me just talk really quietly and not really do anything too big so I don't get hurt. And I feel like right now, this page of swords right here is full of inspired ideas. 
is full of possibilities. And in the long term, this Page of Swords is coming up with a lot of communication. It's coming up with a lot of networking. It's coming up with a lot of... Because if I'm not wrong, I actually think that the snowberry... Yeah, the snowberry is also a meaning of like working together and connection. So I kind of feel like that is where that Page of Swords is coming up in the future, in the long term. Um, a lot, a lot of opportunities, okay? I don't see the Seven of Cups as being overwhelmed and confused. I really see you, especially with the King of Wands attached to it. It's you being in your power. So that's really beautiful. Really, really beautiful, okay? So moving on to love for April. Uh, in the past, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in the current situation, Page of Cups in uh, April. And there's that thing that is ending, Ten of Swords, big ass ending. I feel like it's not an easy one, but with you being in the Six of Swords, I feel like you're moving on from that and you're not looking at that anymore. I feel like you're really over it. And this person could be coming up with an apology, really trying to get back with you and make things happen. And I, I just feel like you're not there anymore. I really feel like you're not there anymore. And look at this. I was kind of wondering about this other person and the fool was right there. Because this person, this child person with the hermit, I kind of feel like they are really, I do feel like they are healing, but it's, they are still very closed off, especially emotionally with this Virgo energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo, with a Virgo and another Aries eventually. Um, but I just feel that they are really closed off emotionally. And the Page of Cups, this apology and this like communication of let's get back together, it's really small, too small. Too small for where you're at. Because I really feel like you've moved on. I feel like in the past with the Seven of Pentacles, you did try to make it work. You did push it. You did really try to, okay, hey, I'm giving you another chance. Let's make this work. And I feel like they didn't care about that. So now you're moved on. And I feel like now you're in an, another place. You're going towards that fool. Taking a leap of faith somewhere else. And I really love that for you because this person right here, um, I feel like they are being immature. AF. Okay. Because I still feel like they have a lot to grow. Definitely. Um... I do feel like for some of you, you may not have met this person yet. Or again, if you did, it was uh, really, really recently. But let's try and get some more information here. Let's see. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Chariot. Hierophant. Wow. Queen of Wands. It's like, again, you were really in it for the commitment, I feel. You were really trying to move things forward to create something really beautiful with that person. And I feel like they were always in this Queen of Wands, uh, maybe a little bit full of drama, full of like always trying to create arguments, always trying to create... Um, the roles could be reversed, but I'm kind of picking up that it's this person. Like always trying to create some sort of issue. And not really taking things seriously, I feel. And I feel like you just had enough and things ended. I also feel like that's when you started to heal yourself and to really focus on that self-worth and self-love and really trying to grow up. And you did. I feel like you were already quite mature. Definitely more mature than this person. And... I feel like they were not there at all. So let me see this page of cups. Emperor, ten of swords again, and the king of pentacles. So there's that thing, especially with this five of swords underneath, is I feel like there's communication coming in. And it's only, um, you're this emperor, this is Aries energy. Could be dealing with uh, that Virgo um with the hermit virgo taurus capricorn earth sign um but i feel like they are in it more not necessarily for the money but for the recognition for the place that you are for the status and not so much because they have emotion because 
Page of Cups is clarified only by pentacles, wands, air, no cups. And even here, we have the chariot, sure, we have the higher fund commitment, but that was all from your side, I feel. And um, them, I really feel like they are coming from a place of status, a place of I need to have you, I want to have you. Not for love, but for prestige or something. Let's see. Let's get more information around that hermit. Two of Wands. Strength and King of Wands. You know what I heard? Uh, now that I don't have you and that I see you moving on, it's when I do have you. It's when I do want to have you. And I really feel like it's that thing. It's I feel like they always thought that you would wait for them forever. That you would always be caught up on them forever. And now that you're not, now that you're in the Six of Swords, I really feel like now they regret not giving enough attention. Now they regret not giving you what you actually wanted, which was a commitment. And I really feel like you're... You're better off alone. I really feel. Because even here, they're showing up with a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of sex, a lot of just not emotion. Right? So let's take a look at that fool. Have the Page of Pentacles, Three Cups, Seven of Swords. Kind of feel like this could almost be like a, a friend or a co-worker or... Uh, someone you never really saw has a commitment potential, or they never really saw you has a commitment potential. Um, I kind of feel like it was more you that never really saw this person has a lover. It was just a friend, it was just a co-worker, nothing's happening. And I kind of feel like you were lying to yourself. And now with that fool, I really feel like you're taking a leap of faith that way. And uh, with the four of wands... Um, it's, it's a good leap of faith, okay? It's a really good leap of faith. Look at that, all, um, a lot of communication, a lot of healing, a lot of wish fulfillment. That's really cool. Uh, so let's pull some cards here around where this is going in the long run. What is the potential of that new relationship? If this is not someone that you already knew has a friend, I feel like you started talking with this person has a friend, um, and now you're really trying, you're looking at the potential of it, okay? Uh, so we have the Two of Swords, Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, and Chariot. Uh, and it's, it's interesting that here in the past we had Seven of Pentacles, Chariot, and now we have that again. And I kind of feel like it's a second try with a different person. And I kind of feel like this time it would be good. I really feel like this time it has potential because this person, I feel like it brings a lot of healing your way and it brings uh, a lot of confusion down. I feel like you could have gone a really, a little bit like doubting yourself and losing your confidence because I feel like this person made you think that everything that went down between the two of you, this past person, um, it made you think that the issue was yours, that you were a terrible person, that you weren't worthy of love, and I feel like this new person is lifting all that up, and it's really healing all that, and it's almost like you're creating, trying to create the same thing again, but it's different. It's a new beginning. It's a new type of vibe. So let's see, we have over here Queen, uh, the Queen of Cups, what? <laughs> Keep it up for mind. We have, ooh, come here. Uh, do something that matters. Ground your ass. Okay. Let's see, what else we have for Aries? Learn the lessons. I definitely feel that that Ten of Swords was still showing up in April. And that Ten of Swords was talking about putting an end to this. Getting closure with this past person. The, and it may not be closure around talking with them and trying things out again and just seeing if we can remain friends. I don't think it's that like that. It's about 
journaling, it's about healing, it's about putting an end with yourself, okay? And for yourself. So we have follow your intuition, look around, there's something you're not seeing, and eternal factors. That's what we were just talking about. And uh, when it comes to career, I really feel like there's that thing of like, open your mind to all your, all your ideas, really consider them. Um, don't be afraid with that snowberry of connection and connecting with others. Don't be afraid to ask for help, to enter partnerships, to um, join a team, to create a team, anything. J don't be afraid to do that. And with this grounding, that's very earth energy. So I do feel like the pentacles, with that ten of pentacles, also a lot of money, okay? I do feel like this path that you're taking forward, it is bringing you a lot of stability and it's important that you start having that stability now, okay? That you start having that groundedness now. And when it comes to your love life, follow your intuition like crazy, okay? Really follow your intuition and see this person's intentions. Because they may show up as a page of cups full of emotion and reality, none of that. So really pay attention to that. All right? So... Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash that like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, if you're interested in the private readings, the link is down below for that. And I will see you in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.